Hey guys, Ranger79, we're back for DCS mission editing tutorial number six. I'm gonna go over uh, <clears throat> some randomization and uh, testing of your missions. I might add a couple of things in, but we're, we're wrapping up pretty quickly here. So let's open up our last save, which should be. Let's see. Uh, what is going on here? Okay. Number 10. All right, so um, we got everything. We really, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on. Not a lot. We got a little bit, but we got a pretty good base right now. So we're going to uh, want to talk about adding um, two planes here that may activate based on randomization uh, based upon... Let's say uh, the units, these units, uh, the main armor group, which I will open up in the units list. Let's go to blue, I'll go to red, let's go to group one. And I'm going to actually make this a little easier. It's on 20 or 19 right now. I'm going to go ahead and make that a 20. And just for shits and giggles. Let's put this right there. Looking that way. Okay. So, what we're going to do is basically make a, a two AI aircraft that are not going to spawn when we start the mission, but they're going to randomize. Basically, we have a half-half chance, 50% chance that they'll, they'll appear once they say, uh, um, let's do a certain percentage of these units are destroyed. This uh, group, this Katasi group here. So, what we're going to do first is uh, go to our airplane, add or modify airplane group. And let's go to Russia, and we can do this right here, A10, this is fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this to CAP, CAP, make these MIG-25s, uh, to random. And notice the board again, so I'm thinking the board uh, number is per country, I believe. So we'll, we'll keep it there. Take the COM off. We're going to make this, all right, good, and we'll make his little buddy here, it's also random, good, all right, so we're going to do, right click on him, and take off and ramp, and I've already done this, I'm on spot 22. That's his first has here, and his old buddy, spot 23. Okay, late activation. Now we're going to go to our um, number one unit and add. So I'm come out here. Uh, let's say 4500. Here, here, here. Then we'll do a delete. Sorry, delete this. We'll add as uh, in route. Start in route task. They'll, they'll obtain this task until it's completed. So we'll do search then engage in zone. Move this zone here. Make this like eight thousand just for shits and giggles. So any aircraft in here, they're gonna attack if they get off the ground. They're not, they're not supposed to, okay, because uh, it'd be bad news for the A-10s. But, that's where we're at. So, we need to name these. Sorry, I didn't name these. I'm sorry, I'm typing sucks. I'm trying to look over this uh, mic. Russian cap. Sweet. So we'll name them. It's pretty simple. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and close this units or hide these units. Alright, so we have our two airplanes. Right now they're on late activation. So I'm going to save this as number 11. I already have a, sim a sample I want to show you guys for randomization. Let's go to new. Actually, let's just open it up. It should be this one. Uh, yes. Alright, delete these for now. Okay, so we have the same setup pretty much. 
me delete these you real quick I was doing some other tests I'll show in a second this is pretty cool okay so these right now we just want them to activate right but we want we said we wanted 50% chance to activate so here I have mission start trigger this is mission start like we went over I think in tutorial number three random 50% flag on 200 okay this one will say flag is true I'm just putting 200 is just a baseline here flag flag is true the group will activate okay so there's a 50 chance 50 percent chance that will activate uh, when for flag on now this is a big deal because you don't want this these planes starting at the beginning of the mission you want them to start like we said when a certain amount of the Katasi armor is destroyed or the probability of them starting randomly 50 percent so let's go ahead and uh, save this Oops, save as one, let's just put cap. And we're gonna do a couple tests and see if they how fast it takes them to spawn. Okay. Or if it's fifty percent if it's gonna work for us. We can lower it, you know, uh, make it higher, that kind of thing. All right, so we're gonna start the mission. All right, so that time it popped right up. Okay, let's end it. Let's quit. Let's try it again. Just kind of just testing. And nothing. They didn't pop up. So there's a randomization. Pretty easy. We're not going to go too crazy. The randomization is a whole hogget. Uh, I think it's a um, page on it, and it, it's good. And it's also DCS wiki. But I don't want to get you guys too confused. We'll go over one more, um, one more scenario in a second. So we saw what we did here. Mission start. Flag on 200, and then we said this is true. Okay. All right. So we get we're out of here. I just wanted to show you that. Also going to open up another. Man, he's doing this to me. What's going on here? Let's do. All right, five groups. Okay. This is good. Let's say we want to have, and this is not really a fire mission. It could be. Um, let's say you have five different groups here. There's all different groups. Group I'm numbered group one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The raw light activation. I go to our uh, triggers menu, and the first trigger I said is um, time more. So more than two seconds in the mission. Flag on 200. Time since flag 200. One second. We're gonna set this this flag set value, which basically says flag one has five values: one, two, three, four, five. Then we go into our condition again, our events say it's an option for flag equals say flag equals one value one group activate flag one value two group activate flag one value three and so forth and so on uh, flag one value four activate four flag one value five activate five what this is going to do is once this flag once this time since flag 200 is realized within a second it's going to pick one of those five groups to respawn or to spawn so, for example, if you had a mission where you wanted, let's say you wanted some um, replayability, you wanted, you know, a group to start here, or here, 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 and but you wanted it different, you know, it can be different every time you start the mission, this is a good, uh, good option. So let's go ahead and try it out, see what happens. And we have five groups there. start up two seconds three done all right that was group number five command post okay 
Let's try. Let's try that one more time. See if we have another group pop up. Might be the same one. Might not. And I like setting these to a flag because you can make that. You can make those uh, like instead of the mission start, you only have one option. But with the flag on, you can have them start uh, the randomization after you know the mission's been going for a while. I'll explain in a second. Update again. All right, command post. Killing me here. Let's see if we get another one. All right, one more time. Maybe I need to go mission editor and then fly again. We'll see. There we go. Group number one. So I don't want to get too crazy. I'll go back into it real quick. It's this is a, it is posted on. I'll put a link in the description of the video to show you some. I don't want to confuse you too much, but so we'll say here just for our condition flag on 200 just to name them. Time since flag 200. This is our. Um, Group one, group two, and so on and so forth. Three, four, five. So that was pretty easy. So that wasn't too hard at all. I want to show you one more thing. This is more, if you remember in my video, uh, I think number three, I believe, I talked about, I was worried about those, uh, that East reinforcements scaring the A-10s because they're, they're, uh, the radars would pop on the uh, on the Shokas, and, and they tend to say, "Hey, we got a Shoka at three o'clock or something," and then they might get to their their uh, trigger zone before being shot, and that could mess up the mission a little bit. So, what we're gonna do is open this up, and you see VRDM. Actually, it's a Shoka and Shoka. So when these activate. From here to here to here, if they're if they're pinging the A10, say so the A10's going over here, A10 might come around and start popping them before they hit this uh, trigger point. This trigger point is going to be this. This is what activates our U.S. friendly forces on the ground. So what we can do here is actually turn the emission for the group off until they hit this trigger. And what that means is they'll still move, but they're not going to have the radars going. Okay. And we can do that, I believe, in the advanced app, advanced waypoint actions, or in the trigger menu, which I'm gonna do, or the uh, yeah trigger menu. So what I'm gonna do here is name these two units, and I'm gonna do this as a little example how to uh, Shoka one. Because I'm doing this zero zero one, you'll see in a second, and Shoka two. Okay, now let's go to our triggers. Make a new trigger. Shoka emission off. Okay, so we're gonna say what I'm gonna do is um, let's see here. Flag is true. I'm just gonna put one for now, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. And I'm just gonna do this. Okay, this is a placeholder. Let's just do. Um, so I just want to do a placeholder until I get to get some information I need. I say placeholder. I don't. If you don't fill all these conditions and actions out, this this will it won't work correctly. It won't uh, it'll just go away. Put end mission. This just for hope. Okay, so we're gonna go up here and say, catastrophe reinforcements call out, or when, when these are gonna activate when, and we talked about when, AAA and armor is 70 percent. Um, destroyed. So flag two, three. Flag two and three are true. That's flag five. So what I can do, flag is true. Two clone. Flag is true. Three. I can do it different ways, but flag is true. Flag is true. Flag is true. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here and put 
uh, should be unit emission off. Shoka 1, see how I put the 001 there? It pops it up right above all the other units. We have a lot of units here. I feel like scrolling in, but if you put the 001, it'll, or 01, it'll pop, put it up first. So it kind of helps you out a little bit. And 2. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we saw, once we get to the, to the reinforcement um, <clears throat> trigger zone, which is Katasi, actually, I'm the wrong one. Nope, we're good. Enemy reinforcement trigger, right there. Flag on five. So what I'm gonna do here is clone that. Shoka on. Flag is true. We're gonna keep that at five. Or let's just do, I scratch that. Let's just do time since flag. Time since flag five. One second. Emission on. Emission on. So now, that's pretty simple. What's going to happen is they're going to go from the start point, which is right here, to waypoint three and to four. Once they hit this little barrier here, uh, we we'll get the call out, and there, and then that's when they actually start their uh, their radar will, will turn on their emission. So then they'll start pinging the A10s, and then A10s like, oh shit, they'll get called out. We got reinforced from the east, and they'll start engaging, what have you. So that, that's just a little trick. I want to put that in there to help out a little bit. Now, sometimes BMPs will um, point at the planes, with, with, and they have an L in your um, on your radar for laser, but that, that's okay. The the, the 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 big one is the the pinging of the the, the A, which is for uh, AAA. So we're gonna have that turned off. Okay, so let's go back. And I don't know why I don't see uh, our planes we had here. Did I say it right? Let's see here. Save as version 10. Ah, oh, it was version 11. See, I screwed that up already. Okay. That's fine. We'll just um, 12 and we'll add our other planes again real quick. Just do this real quick. Set to make 25s. I'm off. Random. Good. Good. All right. Then now the act the activation. Take off a ramp. It was 22 and 23. Boom. Okay. Let's do add. Add, 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 and I said starting route task, search and group. There we go. Sorry about that. All right. So the lay activation. We're gonna call them Russian cap. Good spell. Sweep. Alright, sorry about that guys, let me save it real quick. Alrighty. So, go back to our trigger menu. Now, I'm going to go ahead real quick, since these are going to happen before the groups die, I believe. The emission, I'm just going to move them up. You can see those arrows, you can move the triggers up and down or the events. It won't hurt anything, it just kind of keeps stuff in order. Okay, ground force is 50% dead. All right, so we said, let's say we want when this armor unit, when this uh, Katasi group has, let's say, 40% um, casualties, we're going to activate, we're going to do the little randomizer, okay? So, mission start, flag one. We're also going to make one. Uh, flag one, okay. Good. All right. So let's go ahead and save this real quick. I'm gonna open my other mission file. I want to screw this up here. Yeah, random flag. Okay, that's what it was. 
All right. Go back here. Mission start. We'll put cap random. Golly. All right. New random. One fifty percent. And we can't use two hundred because two hundred, I think, believe is either. Well, we'll look at it. I think flag two hundred might be. Let's see here. No, it's a 1,000. Okay, we're good then. So let's move this up our event page. So, done, done. So, we'll make another uh, a once event and say cap activation. Time since. Hang on a second. Let's think here. That, okay. You know what we're going to do? Scratch that. Well, yeah, we can just do that. 200. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Let's just do this. Uh, and I'm going to put a placeholder again. Uh, group. This is just a placeholder, okay? I got to find out. Let's do a trigger. So this is a placeholder. So we're going to put minus is right now and we'll come back and edit this. I gotta find out the Tasi group. Let's say this is an armor group here. I'm gonna clone this. I'm gonna put forty percent dead. So that'll be the sixty one. Flag on and let's put let's put a two oh one. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So. Flag 201. One second. And then we're also going to do new flag is true 200. So that's what that's telling the game is, and we're going to go ahead and put group activate uh, Russian cap sweep. So let's go, let's put this up a little bit so I can get it back in order. All right, so a mission start, a random, random effect here. It's going to be random 50%. That flag 200 will actually turn on, okay? If it does, great. If it does, one second after it turns, or sorry, no, uh, flag, let's put this up here. It's true, which we said, 50% chance. And time since flag 201 has been activated, we have the Russian cap. And what flag 201 is going to be is 40% uh, casualties. Flag on, 201. I hope that's not too confusing. But basically, 200 is true, 50% chance. This will happen after, after 40%. Um, casualties from the armor group and a boom group group activate. If those are both, those both have to happen, or it won't work. So um, either one. So it's that actually this one. This is a start. The mission start. If it's not true, then this one won't happen. So now you're gonna say, okay. So how's how's a human player gonna know that these these guys are are starting? Okay. I'm gonna say this. I wanna do a test real quick and see how long it takes these guys to spool up. And it's going to do this. File new. Yes. Okay. Alright. Wow, it has them all crazy, doesn't it? That's weird. Anyways. Uh, take off a ramp. Let's do 22. And 23. Lay activation off. So I'm just going to do a test and see how long it takes them to spool up and start coming out of the uh the houses here like i said single player multiplayer it could be a little different but um we'll go from there and we'll see hope it's ain't too confusing um just trying to make sure these flags will work properly so we don't have any hiccups all right so we're at 1201 or 1200 so there's our fighters or big 25s Big old beast. 
So, speed up a little bit. Alright, so about a minute, they'll start taxiing. And they're going right to the active. So, if you don't get on this shit quick, <laughs> the 810s, it's on purpose to so get on the. Your shit is weak, because they're going to get airborne, they're going to take you out, most likely. So, look how time it is right now, it's... It's 12.02. So it's almost three minutes from initiation to off the ground. So shit can get quick, shit can get real, real quick. <laughs> if you don't pay attention, so that's why... I'm, I play with some people and they don't pay attention to like what's going on the voiceovers or something I'm like then if you get if you get screwed up and you get jacked it's your fault pay attention so I kind of that's kind of funny I mean, that amuses me sorry I have a weird sense of humor because I think that if you're just running around and not paying attention you're like ah oh, hey okay, whatever these things get airborne all of a sudden you got a freaking missile up your ass so so he said three minutes <laughs> all right where are we at here I really gotta fix this. Uh... All right, so three minutes. So we're gonna make trigger zones here. Let's make it 35. Uh, 45 is fine. And make it red. So we can... All right, that's gonna be cap trigger one. I'm gonna make one here just in case. Say, say, say the winds, say, say FSX, but say if somehow they decide they want to take off from the opposite runway. Let's, let's just make let's make it foolproof here. Cap, trigger, two. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is go inside. So basically, I'm gonna make it a little bit closer though, so, so we have a little bit of time. Get eyes on. Get some rounds in these guys. And the, the funny thing is, if there's a lot of stuff still going on, which there will be, you can't, like, dive bomb down and try to get them. But the best thing that's going to have to do is either try to get a uh, an aim 9 on them or try to do some evasive maneuvers around the AAA and that man pad's still active and take them out with guns. So it's going to be cool. If it happens, remember, there's a 50% chance it will, 50% chance it won't. So, all right, so cap trigger 1 and 2. Trigger menu. Cap triggers and condition part of group and zone. We're gonna do Russian cap sweep cap trigger one, and this is where we're gonna clone it or trigger two, and we're gonna highlight our first item or so either or of these, either one of these is true or occurs, our action is gonna be. Run. Now it's going to be <laughs> uh, message to all. Enemy MIG 25 taxiing for takeoff at Kutasi. Engage immediately. God, I could spell. Engage immediately before they're airborne. That's still a test. I'll, I'll tweak that later. Of course, we'll put a sound here. I should have like a bullhorn, but uh, sound to all. Dun, dun, dun. Not good. And we're gonna do Morse. Alright. Good. Let's put the cap trigger up. Let's put it right between the 40. There we go. Dun, dun. Cap activation. I'll put that right there. Alright. So that should be interesting. So, 
with a little curveball. And what you could do, you get real creative, is you put five different groups of different kind of planes, different hazes, like I showed you earlier with that little uh, that flag equals um, uh, demonstration with the randomizer, and one of those five will activate. You can make them different levels. You know, it won't matter if you can get them off the ground. If they get off the ground, it's gonna be a bad day. But okay, so we got that going on. That that's good. That's an extra. We'll go ahead and hide the hide that right now. Good to go. All right.